So I really appreciate today that uh, three of the potential candidates have come along today to answer some questions. And I also thank you for actually posing the questions. Um, what strategy uh, will you introduce to support the police to deal with mental health issues? In the last five months since I was selected as a, as a Conservative candidate, uh, I've done an awful lot of listening. I'm sure the others on this platform have done likewise. But I've probably had more listening to do than, than them because they have a, a deeper background in uh, some of the community partnership work. But the one thing that is very clear to me is that if we're ever to get to grips with crime uh, and drive it down significantly, we need to get at reoffending. And part of that reoffending process is this cross-agency uh, interactions. So my answer is, will I work? Yes, hell, I will, certainly will. Uh, and will I uh, invest? Yes, but I say wisely. And on an evidential-based um, uh, basis, i.e. making sure that we do spend our money where it has the effect, and I'll be looking to make sure that we work with organisations that can achieve the effect that we need, and looking and seeing how, you know, how well you know, this all works. And when something works well, we'll reinvest in it. If it doesn't, I'll disinvest in it. I'm aware of the factors around uh, health issues through some of the work that I've already been engaged with. Work that I've been engaged with the Home Office on issues of counter extremism and the issue that mental health plays in relation to issues of that nature. Personally, I have been involved in a number of uh, agencies in Leicester uh, that have been set up for the BME communities because the issue around mental health is often shunned by sections of certain communities and I'm not stereotyping here. So I believe it's of paramount importance that those that are weak and vulnerable in society need the support and by all means I would place that certainly we will support uh, the work that you do. In fact, we'll support most voluntary work that we do for a simple reason is I come from the voluntary sector. I've been doing voluntary work for the last 25 years so I'm quite aware of some of the dynamics that uh, exist out there. Question around what strategy would we introduce and how would we work? Um, I think is, is quite an exciting one, really. I know the police are all, have already put in a significant amount of training for frontline officers to try and make sure that they are able to respond in a way that doesn't make a situation worse for individuals with mental health difficulties. But I think we've got a long way to go in terms of police resources. We know they're decreasing, along with the rest of the <coughs> public and voluntary sector. There is such a tight squeeze, so we need to make sure that people get the best possible interventions at the best possible moment. What um, I've been part of in the council is bringing together all the voluntary sector organisations um, and the public sector organisations that are looking at this issue and how we can make sure that we are working as one and communicating with people as one, rather than trying to all grab at different pots of money and do the bit we can without joining it up. And I think I'd look to use that sort of model to make sure that we maximise the support and the funding that was in the was there for groups and for individuals.